thousands of cattle ranchers are watching their animals eat all day and still losing thousands of dollars each season. And the worst part? The reason for their loss is hidden in plain sight, right under their cattle's feet. Have you ever felt that frustration? You provide water, care, and vast fields of green, but your cattle just aren't hitting their weight targets. It feels like you're wasting time, money, and precious resources. The truth is, not all grass is created equal. Some grasses are just empty calories, filling your cattle's stomachs without adding profitable weight. Today, we are going to change that. We're going to uncover the forage secrets that top producers use to fatten their cattle fast, saving them time and making them more money. And the solution is simpler than you think. Before we dive into the specific names of these super grasses, you need to understand one crucial concept. It's the difference between simply feeding your cattle and truly nourishing them. Think of it like this. You wouldn't fuel a high-performance race car with low-grade gasoline, would you? Of course not. The same principle applies to your herd. The two key metrics you need to know are crude protein, or CP, and total digestible nutrients, or TDN. Crude protein is the engine builder. It's essential for muscle growth and development. TDN is the fuel. It's the energy that powers that growth. The most common mistake, and the one that costs ranchers the most, is relying on native, unimproved pastures. These grasses might look green and lush, but they often have very low levels of protein and energy. Your cattle can graze on them for 12 hours straight and barely meet their basic maintenance needs, let alone gain significant weight. This is the definition of spinning your wheels. To get fast, efficient weight gain, you need to be intentional. You need to plant and manage grasses that are nutritional powerhouses. So, let's get to it. What are these grasses? We'll divide them into two main categories, for warm tropical climates and for cooler temperate climates. First, for those of you ranching in warmer regions, there are three families of grasses you absolutely must know. Number one, the king of many tropical pastures, the Brachiaria family. Specifically, cultivars like Brachiaria brisantha and Brachiaria decumbens. These grasses are incredibly resilient, tolerant to drought, and handle heavy grazing well. But their real magic is in their nutritional profile. Well-managed Brachiaria pastures can easily reach crude protein levels between 10 and 14 percent with excellent digestibility. This means more of what the cattle eat turns directly into muscle and weight. They are aggressive growers, which means they recover quickly, allowing for more intensive grazing cycles. It's a true workhorse for any tropical cattle operation. Number two, the powerhouse known as Panicum Maximum. Grasses like Mombasa, Tanzania, or Zuri are true champions of biomass production. They grow tall and leafy, providing an incredible amount of high-quality forage. Cattle love them, which means high consumption. Their protein levels are often even higher than Brachiaria, sometimes pushing 15 to 18 percent under good fertilization. The key with Panicum is management. Because it grows so fast, you need to graze it at the right time before it becomes too tall and fibrous. But if you get the rotation right, the weight gain you'll see will be astonishing. And number three for warm climates, the Cynodon family especially improved varieties like Tifton 85. This is a hybrid Bermuda grass that has revolutionized many ranches. It is extremely high in digestible nutrients, often exceeding the TDN of many other tropical grasses. It establishes a dense, tough sod that withstands trampling, and it produces a massive amount of hay if you choose to conserve forage for the dry season. For producers focused on rapid finishing, Tifton 85 is a top-tier choice. Now, what if you're in a cooler, more temperate climate? Don't worry, you have some incredible options as well. Your number one choice is often perennial ryegrass. This grass is an absolute superstar in regions with mild winters and cool, moist summers. Why is it so good? Its digestibility is off the charts. It's like a candy store for cattle. It's incredibly palatable and has a very high energy content, or TDN. 
This translates into rapid weight gain and excellent milk production in cow-calf operations. It establishes quickly and is perfect for intensive rotational grazing systems. Next, you have tall fescue. Now, a word of caution here that is critically important. Many old varieties of tall fescue contain a harmful fungus called an endophyte that can cause serious health problems in cattle. However, modern, what we call endophyte-free or novel endophyte varieties are completely safe and are fantastic forages. They are incredibly tough, tolerant of drought, heat, and poor soil conditions. A well-managed novel endophyte tall fescue pasture provides a long grazing season and consistent quality nutrition. But wait, there's a secret weapon that can supercharge almost any pasture, whether it's in a warm or cool climate. And the best part is, most people overlook it. I'm talking about legumes. Incorporating legumes like alfalfa or clover into your grass pastures is one of the smartest things you can do. Alfalfa is often called the queen of forages, and for good reason. It can have crude protein levels over 20%. Clovers like white or red clover are also protein packed, but their biggest benefit is something amazing they do for free. Legumes are nitrogen fixers. They pull nitrogen from the air and store it in the soil, naturally fertilizing your pasture and boosting the growth and protein content of the grasses around them. A grass legume mix is almost always superior to a grass only pasture. It provides a more balanced diet, improves soil health, and reduces your fertilizer costs. It's a win, win, win situation. Now, just knowing the names of these grasses isn't enough. The final piece of the puzzle is management. The single most important practice you must adopt is rotational grazing. This simply means dividing your large pasture into smaller paddocks and rotating your cattle through them. You let them graze one paddock intensively for a few days, then you move them to the next one. This gives the grazed paddock a critical rest period, usually 30 to 45 days to regrow, replenish its root reserves, and come back stronger and more nutritious than before. It prevents overgrazing, improves pasture longevity, and ensures your cattle are always eating the highest quality forage. So let's recap. Stop wasting time with low quality filler grass. Focus on high performance forages like Brachiaria and Panicumern in the tropics or perennial ryegrass and novel tall fescue in temperate zones. And don't forget your secret weapon. Incorporate legumes like alfalfa and clover to boost protein and fertilize your soil for free. Combine this with smart rotational grazing and you will unlock the full genetic potential of your herd. You will see them gain weight faster, you will shorten your finishing times, and you will see a direct, positive impact on your bottom line. This knowledge is just the beginning of your journey to a more efficient and profitable operation. This channel is more than just videos. It's a meeting point for ranchers, farmers, and enthusiasts who want to grow together, sharing what works and learning from each other. If you found value in this information, help our community grow. First, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Second, drop a comment below. Tell us what grasses you use or ask a question you have. We read every single comment and are here to help. And finally, if you know a fellow rancher who could benefit from this, share this video with them. Your journey to a more productive ranch starts with a single click. Let's build more profitable, more sustainable farms together. Until next time, happy ranching.